What is going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're going to be uh, guarding the galaxy again. You're welcome. Alright, so uh, yesterday we got through chapter 1 and 2 and um, figure let's see how far we can get today. Alright, um, as you can tell, I just left it right where we uh, left off yesterday, so let's just jump back into this. Let's... Okay, first off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. Ah, so... You have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Yesterday, I uh, made the mistake of... Actually, I don't know if it's a mistake or not, but I hid Rocket's tools instead of um, the space llama thingy. So, I now owe the Nova Corps 8,000 units in three cycles. So now I have to scan the ship, look for units anywhere I can. And uh, that's where we left off. That was previously, now, huh? There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. Come on, How bud. do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Wow. Come on, guys. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, right. check your own room. Can we keep the fridge shut? Alright. Is that cool? Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! <laughs> do not Peter Quill! Order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. Alright, bro, calm down. All right. I'll got it. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Root? <laughs> you okay in there? I got a uh, you open translator the door for thing. A minute? I have to talk to Groot anyway. What? Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Wait, buddy. I have a... I found a secret thing. I have to talk to you about it. What are you laughing at, bro? Alright. Well, on one of the previous missions, I found a... Uh, what's it called? Like a little translator thing. And it said I have to talk to Groot back on the ship. I'm not even gonna... I'm not going there. Not yet. He's angry. Seriously, Quill. If you're here to talk about feelings, it's a hard pass. All right, bud. Calm down. We all kind of... What, what, what's going so, on? Okay. you're here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badood and that really hot Ascovarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Oh, come on, man. It's all right. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flarkin' fine. I'll flarkin' figure it out, bro. Come on. I'm Star-Lord. It's just kind of what I do, right? I don't... So, so this is like actual legit... Units?
<laughs> no wonder Rocket's the way he is. Oh, that's that spinal thing. supposed to knock. What, what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Later. Alright, let's go talk Any to units I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it, it's an earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pyre. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Uh, you got units in here, though, bro? <laughs> Door open. Did that just work? Did you guys see that? What are you doing in there, big guy? Come on. I am confused by your blind trust in the others. We'll reflect on it. We're a team, man. We gotta, we gotta stay together. Right, I'm going down here. I actually have not been down here yet. Let's check out the rest of the ship. Why you gotta be so paranoid, big guy? You didn't mind trusting me on Hanshi. Trust you repaid by attempting to rob our employer. I told you I was just testing their security measures. Oh, this is the thing. This is... Yeah, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. That was the translator thing. Group! Hey, ah, buddy. See? I was just I uh, it. checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? <laughs> what do you want, Quill? I'm busy. You can see if this translator has Groot's language on it. It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scud like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. 
Do you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. <laughs> I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> So you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation in plan. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and, and us. I am I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. There you go. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. He could have probably said, like, go flark yourself. You know, we'd have no idea. So, got any ideas to get those units together? Do you have investments? <laughs> you think I look like an investment type of guy? You are a risk taker. Exactly. I don't sit behind no desk all day hoping for real estate fluctuations. I go out so and I do This is where we hit the llama. Or, or we are some rockets. Stuff. I can't even scan that. That's how bad that is. Hmm. What if we contacted one of the assassins' disreputable sources? My sources are reputable! So you don't really mean that. What were you saying? One of those informants is bound to give value to Novacorp. You want to sell out one of the guys. Right? If they are murderers, then justice will be served. Then we could negotiate an extension of our fire. Hey, what is this? What does this do? Well, uh, I wasn't so sure Gamora was stabbing you. Oh, uh, I must have to get further in the game and unlock this. Alright. Well, we talked to everyone, right? Groot! Are you done in there? Me and Musclehead could use some input. I am Groot. What do you mean a minute? You've been in there for ages. I have noticed that the Bro, is very just meticulous about shut Groot. this. <laughs> you don't say. He made me snip off the shoots on his back the other day. Nobody cares that they were poking out, you big dandy. Um, hmm. There's a lot of stuff here. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna hit this knockdown dash. That's cool. One shiny upgrade, nice and crappy leg. What else we got in there? Yeah, let's see what that does. Alright, it's all yours. 
Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. I'm supposed to be doing here, if I'm being honest. This captain's chair. There you go. Alright, let me offline. Can I put it online? No? Alright, what am I supposed to be doing here? I talk to everybody. Guys, you're killing me. Guys, don't forget to close the fridge! <laughs> sure thing, Mom Lord. Oh, my room. That's right. Yeah. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax. What? There are easier ways to get paid. Like the we're not giant the Morris crap. What? Dragon. Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. Holding out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't Roar. be wrong to make no sacrifice. To the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of sure. Real Guys! I wanna f Let's just... I wanna fight Fin Fang Foom. You tax out this time. What? Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all who go after it. Skulls, the greatest hunters, are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. <laughs> Glorious death. Out of the question. Uh, well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Root. I am Root. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It was brilliant. <laughs> you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys <laughs> monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. No. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after- I'm not selling Groot. Sir! Lady Hellbender seeks the monster with him. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. It's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Ah, uh, man. Peter? Uh, uh, oh my god. No, uh, alright. Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside, I think. Uh, alright, Rocket, you, you, you got this. Well, bro. Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it cool. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? 
I can't wait to hold this over you. Oh, you little bastard. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Yeah, I couldn't let go of Groot. What happens? Something happens to him. I'm not seriously flying into that. Never forgive myself. The weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Oh my god, Rocket, bro. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because you're constant complaining to us? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Right. Are you No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Are we going? Because I'm ready. Uh, excuse me? They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. <laughs> of course. It had to be raining. I hate wet. Yeah, makes sense. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's <laughs> castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. It's all right. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> we'll get that. We'll get that. Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? <laughs> At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. Nah, come oh, on, guys. We got this. Strengthen your spirit. We won't walk. We'll hike. It'll be fun. Woo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Green, was Space Lady Hellbender's rage head on? Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. All right, guys. Did we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender. <laughs> Way too close. All right, well, play, Focus up. Let's go. Stop arguing. So we're still doing this. Yes. Guys, focus. Go now. Oh, 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 oh. I 
has to be Easter eggs or secrets that I'm missing here. So we'll get them next time. Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. Hey, <laughs> oh, I thought I failed or died or something. Everyone okay? We should have gone to Baku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. You explore? Oh, hell. Not by this one in there, Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. Are you? <laughs> what is that? Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. We'll be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some of those. Where? 
Oh, well, the What's the resistance ship doing all the way out here anyway? All right, Rocket, that wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes. Oh, hello. That don't sound like no lady either. All right. Oh, well, I'm not reading all that. You guys can pause the video if you want. <laughs> I'm not reading all that right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sweet. Trouble assassin. Yeah, Gamora, just chill out. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us will jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I wish I could give you my jacket, man. I'm just, you look miserable. trying to kill us. You know what? Yeah, let's just go in the cave. Let's just go in the cave. I was I'm gonna go back. to experience Lady Helvinder's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Oh, please don't let there be a space bear in here. Oh no, but there's a Hello, costume box back there. Mystery then. goo. Right? Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave, it smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet. Recently hatched. It's never a good sign. Can I shoot these? Did you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Uh, 
I really need to talk to you. What about feelings and stuff? There's something um, personal I need to get off my chest. What's All up? Alright, man, what's up? Look, there's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. I think I'm dying, Well, Even with all these freaking augmentations, shut knows what else I, I just... I had no idea, man. Does Groot know? No, 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 and uh, you can't tell him. It'll destroy him. If the day comes that I... Just promise me you'll take care of Groot. I promise. And, uh, are you in that, uh... Are you messing with me? <laughs> oh, you uh, little... You know, say you'll bury me <laughs> in the... in the Milano. <laughs> wow. Oh, I can't believe your face. You got me. Like, I, I can't even describe your freaking face. What is wrong with you? Why would you even joke about something like that? Come on, the sooner we get the lady out, right. the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. You're not. Okay. There's further proof here, Uncle. If we turn back every time we have wanted. We never go in. Good point. Alright, well, what do we do? This jungle is majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way, sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. No, don't you? And for a sweet lucky nectar. So, right. uh, these tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Droid? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. I don't know. Here, can you do something? You get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find help, Ender. The name is Lady. Oh. Yeah, oh, that was easy. If we want an audience with it, we'll have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who called me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn at the first. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. <laughs> right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? Try that. Would you rather be wet than water? Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization. The only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Okay. Good to know. That's why. You're a valued member on this team. Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? The Capians do not chase our prey. We lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. That can take a while. Patience is a virtue of the hunter. Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? We shall hurl the creature over the chasm so you may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! Yeah, throw him! He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No, yeah, well. fucking throw him. It's okay. He'll land on his feet. I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scuff busting half bladders! I'm familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum! I think don't he's making them up. Blots. He's really pissed. You <laughs> can run, you free bag and flark holes! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Fuck it! Come on, man! Ram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. 
want ten. <laughs> hey, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> Next time, uh, don't, don't joke around with me like that. That's what you get. Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled it. Maybe what do we got in here? It was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. Ridiculous. All these upgrade points, that's cool. Gotta find a workbench soon. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thanks, genius. I mean, maybe this is why Hellbender is so hot for monsters. Just another religious nut. He is not a nut of any kind. He's a conqueror. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again. Hear that? Who's up, people? Incoming! Seven strides. Sure, she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drag, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Hey, man. Everyone, let's calm down about my flying skills, alright? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? Are you flarkin' kidding me? I just got hopped over a Kratakin cliff! Better than down it. I ain't some builder tool you could just throw into or over a hole anytime something needs fixing. More of my cutting as a path. You say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what go Here. No. Just thinking someone else could cross the death pit first. Be root of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B, okay? 
Just go. No. Uh, that's a go. that's no. that's a Leaders dragon or something. Cross first. Not if it's dangerous, because I need to cover everyone. I'll move. I'll right. go. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. No, oh, that's a- that thing's like- look at that, that's the neck of like a dragon. Easy does it. Is that- is that Finn Fangful? He's not Finn Never mind. I was mistaken. There's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Flark these dudes up. I got it. Easily 
carry this great weight. <laughs> Do you even know where to put it? I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Fortress.
destruction from its nucleus. Hydrogen, not gold. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? Mora, can you reach that cannon? It is more stubborn than expected. Rocket, you can fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make a step. Ah, impossible! It will not stay in place! Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out, trust me. We've gotta find a way to lock it in place. Uh, I did it! Impressive, you know. Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Rocket, any ideas on getting that top one out? Not from this angle, no. Crew, any way you can bring that one down with vines or something? <laughs> he says his vines ain't strong enough to move them things. that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Yeah, uh, come on. Man. You're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. There you go. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah! You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that shatari meat. Rocket. No. Relax. Just gonna Gross. reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Mark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! You got the jump start in the day. Rock, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! <laughs> if I never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. On that alone, we are free. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? Oh man, another murder tentacle. Careful, it might be playing dead. Why does it not attack? Perhaps dead. it is dead. Poke it and find out. Very well. That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother. Lady help. 
Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. In many ways, this planet reminds me of my own world. That bad, huh? <laughs> Fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is a code. Here for the costume box. The most impressive firearm in our group. I've changed my mind. Will's ice cube machines? They are versatile. Maybe, but my sweet death cannon still got 17,000 different murder configurations. I'm glad we know where we're going, but this road's got more holes than this Radian tree. There wouldn't be so many gaps to cross if the bridges were extended. You're a cool dude, group. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, you've known Rocky way longer than I have. You know he can be kind of unpredictable, temperamental even, feisty. What I'm asking is, is he going to be able to go through with this? That sounded like a yes. Good. Thanks, man. To it. Can you move a bit to the right? Why? Your big butt's a nice windshield. You may shelter yourself behind my butt. Thanks. There's nothing up here. What are you doing, wench? Why are you touching me? You have some jelly on your pants. I don't see you cleaning me off. Okay, I am not touching that first. What? I'm clean. Where did you guys go? Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Uh, I'll take that time to throw up. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but it just looks and sounds gross. I'm clenching every orifice right now. <laughs> Oh! Oh. Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? <laughs> Don't pet the tentacle thing! Who more thinks we can sell our monster out here if we have a proper cage? Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beach, let me dispose of it, because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. 
immediately one that guarantees my safety is needed. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Costume box. Oh, wait a so, minute. Wait a minute. I got, it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So, if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless body. You have counted them. That is bizarre. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. I love easy. That thing have equal. Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? 
no, it would compress anything in No, 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 no. Pushing no. gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes! Alright, come here, costume box. Let's see what we got. Give me something cool. Oh, yeah, we're putting that on right now. Wow. Yeah, that's badass. I'm gonna wear that one. That one's cool. Have any other outfits for anybody? I don't really want to put on the movie outfits, I'm being honest with you. Looks like Nova. Literally, Nova Lord. Alright, sweet. Not Groot, you're the only one with a cool costume. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Oh my god, he looks so himself. cool! I can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Oh my god, that is awesome! Oh, that's so cool. That scary ass costume on them. So Remind me again. How many missions have we been on so far? 13? 14, if you count contracts. Contracts, yeah, was not a mission. It was a mistake. Alright. Point is, is I was able to sell you, Gamora, daughter of Thanos, intergalactic assassin, as a hero. 14 times! Fine. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Alright, you little monster. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. Can you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. No. What? Groot, you do this, man. 
Look at look at you. Look at me. Lucky this thing is on wheels. It's messed up. whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Man, this, this original music is awesome. this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Maybe says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that, something growing inside of you, just slowly taking over. Oh my god, what is up with people? If I go upstairs and that kitchen fridge is open, I'm gonna be mad for them. I explore everywhere so you guys don't have to. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, slowpoke. Oh, that's like a legit, legit Pac-Man cake. That's cool. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. I think you got them all, and I got a healthy dose of your spit. <laughs> what did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth. 
And then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Okay. I don't think I'd want you to see that, Peter. I Zombie let Rican. you watch the hockey mask one and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. Not even. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I that's, told that's you I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. Because that's what but heroes do. But you cannot go do. punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Sweet. Let's go see the zombie movie. Why do you keep looking outside? Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? D Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Oh snap. I'm about to find out the truth. Yeah, let's play some. Don't you dare touch that dial. Okay. Leave that alone. I love it. Look, it even has your little handprint on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I grab a piece of cake? The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, right, Peter. Say, kitchen refrigerator's closed. That's all I care about. Just keep closing all of everyone's fridges. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. It's alright. Getting a black eye is like, uh... It's a, it's a right. It's a birthright. You have to get a black so eye. What? Everyone has to get at least forgets? one black what? eye. No. Hansel sings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Oh, there's a dog. Can I pet the dog? Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. No. Well, that's sad. I should, probably shouldn't pet the dog. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Move some pieces. <laughs> Don't move some pieces. That's the wrong thing to do. That's what heroes don't do. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Oh, look at this bathroom. That's a nice tub. That looks like her room. Oh, that's her room, because that's where the gift is. All right. Let's go in my room. I'm gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Hmm. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. So this is an office, not my room. Dances every UFO oh, setting is really a weather balloon or a bright I, star. I just realized. There's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real?
Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sure, it'd be looking nice for to believe there are other bro. worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Before we go in that room, we go in this room. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. <laughs> a mullet? Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Alright. A little backstory on everybody. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Alright, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, there we go. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? I don't know, man. What's in the box? That was messed up. I want to know what's in the box. Sorry. Chapter 4, Monster Queen. So, as I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The clerk it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space Cadet don't trust your gymnastics. Wait. What about you? Oh man, I was. I just think we should great. be relying on a piece of tech you won't even be around to use. Are you serious? Yes, we're going to find out. out. Even you mouth breathers can figure it out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. What? Mm -hmm. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Half World and the meanest SOP in the quadrant. Pass. Pass. Rocket. Things cube. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. You'll be wise to reconsider. Alright, get going before I change my mind. Look at that, Drax. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast is a hellish demeanor. I like it. There we go. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill, if Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's news. Wow. Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance of the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one of those tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. The worst comes to worst, I'm gonna have to fight those. Now. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her own monster mash. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planets in hospital on the surface? Time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Chases across the galaxy level of no at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Focus, guys. Time to get those game faces on. He means you gotta sell the illusion, too. Exactly. The Galeran Scum. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh. Explain the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest. 
this heist. No! I think we should. of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I say, lady. release it. We got this. Transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. The undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sennarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Go. 
when will it reach its big size? Big size? Yeah, I wouldn't pet him like that again unless you want to lose a finger. He bites hard. I admire a creature with some spirit. What would you call it? It's a hell beast. It doesn't look like much. Do something, Roger. <sighs> I didn't know any better. I'd think it was a woodland creature. Like a raccoon. True, but do we mention it's one of a kind? Just look deep into those angry raccoon eyes. I ain't a freaking raccoon! And you'll see that there's a monster in there. Big, scary, true. And what would you like for? Thousand units. Twenty thousand. And not a penny less. Actually, we've already got an offer for twenty thousand units. From the collector. Floorboard, was it? Actually, it's Star Lord. Quiet. The collector seeks. If Tivan had made an offer on a hell beast, I would have heard. Since I heard nothing, it's clear you're lying. Silence! The creature is worthless to me. Worthless? That's cool. We're no just gonna so rob your whole thousand. place then. I wouldn't even feed your hell beast to my pet flurkin. You have a pet flurkin? And I'm the worthless one? I'll show you worthless. Yeah, kill it, bro. Ah! 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 What are you doing? Land me! Well, yeah! Less talking, more escaping! No, screw that. Let's just fight everyone. Shoot the thing, you know. Shoot first, ask later. But this time, uh, that was that was the wrong strategy. All right. Well, now we know. All right. Lotus long, longest load screen ever. There we go. Any day now. 
Not even that much to load. I literally just died. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Alright, go. Let's try and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for units, and I ain't leaving without I agree. Yup, we're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way out. You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You wanna cut and run, or do you wanna get paid? I want to make it out of here alive. We don't even know where the vault is from here. We don't have time to argue. Hellbender's goons are gonna be here any second. Quill's right. Shut the traps and follow me. Not what I'm saying. Let's just find the big elevator we came in on and get the hell out. No wonder we're always poor. You saps don't know how to take what's yours. Ooh, yummy. Alright. I'm with Rocket on this one again. We should keep moving. We are moving. But we should be doing it faster. Aha. Let's see what we got. All the Guardians of the Galaxy. Alright, let's just get all the Guardian movies out of the way. So we could actually collect some like cool costumes. Not that the movie costumes aren't cool, but you know, this is all just want to see some other stuff. We empty that vault. It is unknown if we will even be able to access its contents. The only if you gotta worry about is if you're gonna be able to carry all that. We got company.
Wow. All right, yeah, let's get that one. You wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. Yeah, but what's over here? does beat ice. Alright, it 
it's over. I don't know what to do. It's not letting me, like, use my squad. I don't know what to do. It wasn't letting me hit L1 anywhere on anything. Is there, it has to be something to do with those two statues. It has to be something to do with those two statues. I vote we don't run into the room. We just kind of across, you know. There's those things, those flying discs. We could just jump on that and rock it, hack it. This is my strategy, you know. We could always throw them across. That would work. It worked the last time. Um, it has to be something that I have to shoot down or... It's gotta be something somewhere. I'm telling you, we can still come out on top of this thing. We'll be lucky if we don't end up on top of a spike. It is more likely that Lady Hellbender would feed us to one of her monsters. Lord! Way too close! Follow that! Alright, hold up. Before we, uh, go, you know, crazy here, there's gotta be something, like, something to do. Ceiling? Ceiling is... Oh, ah, ah, Flark! to go through the floor, don't I? I have to go through the floor. Alright. So now we know. To be, that's the only thing there. There's literally nothing coming up. There's a little tiny hole in the floor. It has to be that. If it's not that, guys, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But we're going to try the hole in the floor. Maybe someone could open it or destroy it. Rocket throw a grenade down there. Blow it up more. You got to figure something out. There's... I literally didn't see anything on the walls, on the ceiling. You can only slow those machines down for so long. Alright. Fork! Way too close! Follow that! It has to be the floor. Ah! Fight, you coward! Uh, guys! I think we walked right into a trap! Trap. No, she said trap. Slow this thing down. We'll blow a nice hole in the wall. Before 
almost weaker here, and it looks like there's a tunnel or something below us. This has got Destroyer written all over. Yeah, Destroyer. Yeah, nice. You expect us to crawl through a sewer? I ain't getting wet again. I don't want to hear one word out of you. Well, it you beats. You a real funny giant. way saying thanks. Gratitude is not my current sentiment. All right, nobody's perfect. Some of us served a mad type, and some went a little nuts hunting him down. And some of us get a little touchy being called worthless. You are not worthless, Rocket. But he's clearly worth less to Hellbender. She says she would have Groot. Groot ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty of experience trapping in lies. Watch your tongue, or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> Groot says you can all go sit on a hot poker. Oh, fine, fine. You're all against me. But by the end, you'll be lining up to kiss my oh, hairy hi. paws. Sweet. Look how cool that is. They're definitely equipped in that one. So now they both have... I'm missing his movie cuts. That was probably the one that was underneath the staircase. All right. Yeah. The five horsemen of the apocalypse. Let's do it. This was not how I envisioned my first encounter with Oh my guys are looking yeah, dope geez. AF, you know. I bet on you anything. Let's see. Come here, bud. Let me see. Yeah, that's cool. Everybody quiet! Come on! We'll cut them off at the vault. Cut them off at the vault. I think I like your attitude. Perfect. Another by the numbers plan for the Guardians of the Galaxy. What we should have done is sold tracks. Hellbender was practically begging to buy a knife with a big I guess it's not for I, sale. The house pest still owes us 12,000 points. 12? How'd you get 12? It's a measure of growing frustration. All right, there, this is clearly we'll a trap, guys. Let's take because we're here. Let's focus One on. One vault as promised. And a giant locked door. Leave back to me. to do that. Damn. Can I cancel this? What a bunch of losers. Me and Groot, we win this in our sleep. Then it's these Italian fights like this just make it interesting. They are no match for these blades, Peter Quill. You're gonna get creamed out there. You wanna know why? Because we keep trying to fight fair. What? But in this galaxy, you don't win by fighting fair. Let's give those losers a taste of their own medicine. I did not mean to do this. Who's with me? I feel straight well. <laughs> Come on, Relax. I am adding 50 units to your debt program. Relax, toss it. You'll get it back as soon as we're in the vault. It's a breathing room, Groot. Okay, coast is clear. You're up, Rocket. Make it fast. 
Of course. There ain't a lock this side of... Ah. Sandor, I can't talk. I am adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. Keep your manies on. You can't rush genius. All hell raises to the main vault. Or I could try rushing and hope for the best. Wish you Ooh, what do you do? Take that big dude down. I just freeze him. Tell my crew. If only I had the huddle up. You know, that would have been really, really, really helpful. But no, they did not give me the huddle up. Well, actually, I wasted it. If I'm being honest, that was an accident. I didn't mean to waste it. I was trying to tell Drax to do something. I accidentally hit R1 because I was trying to freeze the guy before I told Drax to do it. Story of my life. Always hit the wrong buttons, you know? Man. Those, those big dudes are hard, though. Of course! Yeah. There ain't a lock this side of Xandar, I can't. We got this. I am adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. Keep your manies on. You can't rush genius. All hell raises to the main vault. Or I could try rushing it over the I literally chuck everything at it. Yeah, 
Doctor, you almost done there, bro. Hey, Josh, keep coming! I did not do anything. I'm almost impressed. The woodland creature has more bite than I originally perceived. Enjoy the contents of my vault, Guardians. They will be the last thing you ever see. Shame. No, there's a wall over there that we can break. We're getting out of here, guys. Such unworthy Do try not to melt. All over my Kalaran skull. We need to find a way out. Now. It is both priceless and hard to clean. There's a way out behind this wall. Allow me. You're not getting through this with your bare hands. We need something heavy. Hey, I found some more units.
Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. But it's fine. We're getting there. I think we might have beaten chapter four. That'll do her! Let's move, people! I hope you know what you're doing! That makes two of us! Here goes nothing! Wait, what happened?
far. We got this. Woo! Now we work on 
something. Skull Gamora, do your thing. Nice. That's why she's the deadliest woman in the galaxy. Do I get to drive this thing? Or is it all cinematic? Oh, cinematic. Yeah, it's still cool. We still need to get out of here and fast. Everyone's dropping. Now that was a ride. There's no time to celebrate. We've made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Helena's ride. We'll see about that. We'll see. What the? Oh my god. Okay. Guys, hold on. Just like that, we got that. with the money, didn't we? Money that you forced us into stealing. Yeah, well, what about that smash and grab on Satopia? I didn't hear you complaining then. Lady Hellbender is not a Sank. bank. Yeah, that's right. Because if she was, we'd have way more loot. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paint, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. Still got a thousand units out there. all that you think of, Rodent. No. I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. <laughs> Nikki. Hey, Carol. I really want to know. There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thing? Yeah, no dice. Nikki's your mom around. I really need to talk to her. She must be. It's frightening. I've never left. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? Mm, you were the one. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, can you start that right, I'll go check the array. We'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need to dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy I'm nowhere who's got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova Tracker cheap. We cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. 
I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corell is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. in paradise. Alrighty guys. I'm going to Sounds like Root's got that toothy bastard under control. Better? Alright. I'm gonna end it there. Be chapter three and four. Alright, I think. So uh join me again very soon for uh the next installment of Guarding the Galaxy. Alrighty? So, it's been real. Until next time, I've been Zombie Reekin. And, uh, yeah. Have a great weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I got nothing else to say. So, be good. Be safe. Don't die. Stay alive.